5G connections are expected to double over the next two years, according to analysts at GSMA Intelligence. The growth will come from technological innovations and new 5G network deployments in more than 30 countries this year. GSMA Intelligence reports that consumer 5G connections will increase from 1 billion at the end of 2022 to around 1.5 billion this year and reach 2 billion by the end of 2025. This makes 5G as the fastest generational rollout, compared with 3G and 4G now 229 commercial 5G networks and over 700 5G smartphone models are available. Brazil and India are expected to experience significant growth with the expansion of services from Airtel and Geo in India expected to be pivotal to the region's 5G adaption. GSMA Intelligence predicts four 5G networks will be in India by the end of 2025, accounting for 145 million additional users. But before we continue, if you're enjoying this briefing, please kindly support this channel by liking and clicking on the subscribe button below to subscribe to this channel and to help YouTube learn of your preferences and enable you receive new video updates every time they are uploaded on this channel. Thank you. Let's get going. Many of the new 5G markets scheduled to launch 5G this year are in Africa and Asia. 5G adoption in Sub-Saharan Africa is currently less than 1%, but will reach over 4% by 2025 and 16% by 2030. Until now, 5G adoption has been driven by mature markets and consumer use cases like enhanced mobile broadband. But that's changing. We're now entering a second wave for 5G that will see the technology engage a diverse set of new markets and audiences said Peter Jarich, head of GSMA Intelligence. The extension to new use cases and markets will challenge the mobile ecosystem to prove that 5G truly is flexible enough to meet these diverse demands in an inclusive and innovative way. While 5G might not be delivering on its full potential yet, it's still an important part of any smartphone decision. In areas where high-speed internet isn't readily available, 5G phones provide bandwidth for families and businesses to use the internet as intended. But not all 5G phones are created equal, and finding the right one means deciding which features are most important to you and how much you're willing to spend. It's fair to point out that even many budget Android phones support 5G networks these days, but not all 5G is the same. Separate carriers' 5G networks don't always use the same frequency bands, so make sure you're close enough to a tower and are considering phones that support the appropriate bands. We've scored frequency support across carriers, and today's best Android phones overall to give you the best choices for ultra-high-speed network access in most parts of the country. In GL New Eau de Colo, March 18, 2024 slash Par Newswire slash. Today, Ecostar, Nasdaq, CTS, announced the contract period of performance extension by the Department of Defense, DOB, Office of the Undersecretary of Defense for Research and Engineering, OUSD or NE. Futrig Office, for the continued deployment of standalone 5G networks at Joint Base Pearl Harbor Vikram, JBPHH, in Hawaii, and at the Naval Air Station Whidbey Island, NASWI, in Washington State. The contract extension builds on the award for NASWI in 2021 and additional expansion in Hawaii in 2022, extending both through 2025 with additional 5G enhancements. HO Star is a premier supporter of the use of Open Radio Access Network, ORAN, in DLV Networks, and recently won a $50 million NTIA grant to build an ORAN test center. The award extension demonstrates the value of this multi-vendor solution and follows the successful launch of the 5G network at Naval Air Station Whidbey Island. The first 5G ORAN at a U.S. Dawn base, said Dr. Rajiv Gopal, Vice President, Advanced Programs. Hughes. Together, the NASWI and Hawaii set configurations demonstrate the power of 5G standalone ORAN networks to support increasingly automated base operations securely and with the resilience necessary to maintain information assurance in any circumstance, holding tremendous promise for DOD applications. HACOSTAR subsidiary Hughes leads the deployments as the prime contractor, integrating standards base, best of breed components, like radio access, Edge Cloud, and a packet processing core with Zero Trust Architecture, ZZA, and seamless global satellite connectivity augmented by embedded network operations capabilities, NLC, and security operations capabilities. 
SOC. The project is using ORA and infrastructure and engineering expertise along with EchoStar's 5G spectrum. There are transport routers, switches, and firewalls from Cisco, computing infrastructure from Dell Technologies, radio access network, RAN from JMA Wireless, Edge Cloud Stack and Inteller, Theaner, processors from Intel, and Site Survey and Network Installation Services from Boeinga Wireless. Rick Lover, Vice President and General Manager, Hughes Defense, said, The Dodds extension of the 5G award is a validation of the Echo Star bench of engineering expertise and our ability to customize solutions using best available technologies across terrestrial and non-terrestrial systems. We are proud to join our industry partners in architecting, deploying, and operating the prototype networks that will set the foundation for 5G standalone ORAN and resilient networks for the DoD going forward. The initial NASWI deployment was completed with a ribbon-cutting ceremony on March 30, 2023 to commemorate the launch of the standalone 5G network. The deployment improves aircraft readiness by enabling immediate real-time communication coordination across the flight line to reduce maintenance time and decrease preparation time between missions. Both deployments are designed to support National Security Agency, NSA, Commercial Solution for Classified, CSFC, requirements. This contract extension comes under an other transaction agreement, OTA, issued through the Information Warfare Research Project, IWRP, consortium as part of ongoing 5G experimentation led by the Undersecretary of Defense for Research and Engineering, OUSDR and E, Futurig Office. Let's at this point explore the progression of 5G network connectivity. The fifth generation of wireless technology is here, although it's not quite here. The top four major carriers in the U.S. have cities with some sort of 5G capabilities, while Verizon, T-Mobile, and Sprint are currently offering 5G to consumers. AT&T is only offering the service to businesses and institutions. However, by 2025, half of the U.S. population will have access to 5G network connectivity. Samantha Murphy Kelly, tech editor at CNN Business, recently tested the speed of 5G on all four providers. When it worked, it really worked, often hitting over 1 gigabit per second in speed tests, an incredible feat for a piece of technology that fits in your pocket, Kelly states when describing her experience with Verizon's network. The high speed, allowing her to download the most recent Spider-Man film in 5 seconds on AT and T's network, is a promising sign that 5G will change the way people live and operate by giving access to real-time data. Setbacks in 5G development As mentioned in a previous post, 5G is facing setbacks in the UK due to disputes between landlords, local authorities, and mobile network operators MNOs, over access to street furniture for transmitter installation. The U.S. also faces issues with the rollout, which could take six to eight years in order to catch up to 4G's footprint. Because its faster speed utilizes radio waves that cannot penetrate walls and buildings, expanding 5G means increasing access points. Smaller transmitters, such as the type located on street furniture, would be needed to help maintain signal strength. While there may be a slower rollout period for the technology as upgrades are made to existing 4G towers, and new access points are built to create a stable connection. 5G continues to show promise in transforming connectivity for individuals and businesses. What will the world look like in a few years? 5G will allow for advancements in smart cars, cities and homes as more devices will be able to better communicate with each another. Cars will be able to communicate with a larger network. Traffic updates will occur in real time. The use of augmented and virtual reality will increase and much more. By moving tremendous amounts of data between devices within seconds, 5G network connectivity will enable real-time management while providing significant increases in computing power. Small cameras will be embedded in everything, from your clothes to your doorbell to your car, distributed and connected, says Light Company CEO Dave Grannon. Data from these cameras will be combined to create incredible high-resolution 3D images enabled by the speed and latency of 5G networks. To access 5G, you need to have a 5G-enabled device. Do you know which devices are currently on the market that offer access to 5G? The list below shows which smartphones are compatible with 5G as 5G continues to advance. Many organizations are getting ahead of the curve by investing heavily in this telecommunications technology. Is your organization ready? 
Consider training your team with 5G Networks, a course program from IEEE and Nokia, which will be released later this year. That's where we will end this briefing for the time being. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel as your show of motivation for more content like this to be made available on this channel. Thanks for creating time to watch. Hope you do join us when the next video is uploaded on this channel.